Hey, Jordan here, and today we're going to be flying the Blade 350 QX. We're at iHobby 2013, flying the DX9 Radium. So we're going to go through the three modes that this quad offers. So the first thing is we've got Smart Mode, Stability Mode, and Agility Mode. So we're going to go into Smart Mode, um, and that's going to keep. That's going to be have, have the pressure sensor. It's going to keep. Uh, a good amount of stability. It's gonna keep. Or it's gonna keep the altitude. It's a little bit weird on the throttle, but just let it go, and it will keep its altitude. So to arm it, you're gonna go right rudder, left rudder, and center. That's gonna arm it, and then you're free to take off. So if I if I'm if I let go of the throttle and just put it in one position, I've got full. Con it's gonna just sit there at that altitude. If I come a little bit lower, right near it. Let go of the throttle. So I've got no throttle. And it's pulling. So if I go up to it, move it down, push it up. I can't get it above that altitude. So the next mode we're going to go to is. Um, Mode. And this is going to be just like the Nano QX, where it's got the uh, bank and pitch angle. Um, you can't go beyond a certain angle, no matter how much you push it. And this this mode really helps you because if you let go of the sticks, you get scared, you just let go, and then you can just slow, slowly bring the throttle down to to land it and it's not going to go all over the place just like agility mode. It still flies around fairly nicely, even in the stability mode. So now we're going to go, we're going to flip the switch, and now this is going to be the stunt mode, agility mode, and it's very quick. It's very squirrely, you've got to get used to it. But it flies very much like a nice responsive helicopter almost. And this, whole, this quad has a lot of power and flip. Gotta get used to it. There we go. And as you see, it's got tons of authority. All right, we're gonna come in and land it. And we're gonna hit the throttle kill to shut it off. And thanks for watching. Hope this video was helpful and have a nice day.